all starting to pierce their way into the higher reaches of the rankings. It may well happen over the next 99. few years. Well, what we have seen already, Ricardo Pietrezco will see tonight, he's gone to German... Well, he's still not the German number three, but he is on the Pro Tour order of merit list, which is why he's here automatically, didn't have to come through the qualifiers. We'll cover more of that later on, as Nico Kurtz eyes up 86 to hold his throw. Staying on the 18s. Now the ball. Oh, it's a beauty. What are you doing, Jose? <laughs> I mean, even for Jose, that's an interesting one. I mean, it's a dreadful 177 if there is such a thing. Yeah, superb. Madness. Jose and magic all at the same time. He makes a mess of this, so he does have time on his side, and he's just starting to make a little jolt towards the finish in this game. Oh, it's two, two astonishing visits back to back from Jose de Salza. Running the risk of leaving a bogey number by switching away from the 20s and then finding a way to leave himself on double eight despite an errant dog. Jose requires and it 60. looks like Nico Kurtz might be faltering here. Game, 14 data, best leg Jose of the match. Jose de Souza taking control of this. It's turning into a, a solid, steady showing from de Souza. 20. Even those misses shouldn't matter. With his manager watches on. Mac Elkin. Looked like he'd give him a look then, didn't it, the way he responded? So, so, yes, I know, I know. Yeah. 100. Jose required 20. Hit the double, Jose, is probably what Mac is telling him. Probably should tell him which one as well. Double five. 10. Well, it might matter. It might matter now. Nico, you require 98. 98 on offer for Nico Kurtz to level this game and actually take control of it effectively. And he gets two darts. Step back, big deep breath, chance to build up a bit of crescendo in here. Oh, it's close. Game and that's it, game. Nico Kurz. He couldn't leave a finish, but he's going to get down to something here. And it's something pretty good. Oh, what a time for his first 180. Oh. Well, we are still on for what the second Nico game in how many? 50 or 58 now, yeah. Without a maximum for De Sousa. Obviously, he's got one up his sleeve in the last leg because that's where this could be heading. Again, the big build up. Does it help? Does it hinder? Game shot the tenth The evidence Nico suggests it helps. Which way is it going to go? That's the way he decided to go. Kurt uh, will have the opportunity here. Which way is he going to go? There's an insurance two. route here of starting on the ball, or the aggressive, and now more common route of going the treble 20. Plays the insurance policy. 67. I think he even got his numbers wrong there. It's going to be 17 and bull, trouble 17 for double eight. And I'm not sure how good that lie is for Nico, because his darts lie down a bit. He's going to have to come in from the right-hand side, I think. Can he force it in? Oh, my word. Jose, you I think he might have caught a flight or something. You know, there's certainly some movement. But will it be De Sosa moving through to round two? Double ten. Game. To Shot. silence the crowd, the to get over Jose the line. Do like the style of Benetsky. Gets on with the game, doesn't nine. he? Got that easy on the eye sort of motion. It's all one movement. Yeah, just have a little look at his hand at the end. Is it sort of coming at a little angle there? One hundred. Another big pullback. 
There's the big dog. Quite similar as he looks at this 164. What a finish this would be. What a finish it is for the big dog. Just as good as the big finish. See the big difference is the first nine there. So although the averages are very close 16. together, Benetsky is getting off in legs quicker, which means that shots like the 164 might have to go. Adam Smith Neal, he's taken that out. Now Benetsky 17. will get a go Roman at the very Rupai same finish. 164. Anything you can do, Smith Neal? And then not taking it out. 126. It gives Smith Neal a chance for another flamboyant finish. 60. 40. Game oh, wow. Brilliant dance from Adam Smith Neal. A couple of really. Fantastic combinations. I think in this one, another one of them would be nice. 100. Beaten 1-4-1. One, Adam Smith he must be feeling confident the way he's finishing on 2 or 4 He can do this in six darts. Those trebles, the trebleless physics are really hurt. Well, I mean, he gives himself an outside chance for 108. 1-4-1. One, one. It's not going to be done. For Smith Neal for the chance for a 5 2 lead. 47. Hasn't really Hasn't taken too much off it either. He's not in much better position than his opponent. He's now in a very good position, or will be if this goes in. And Game it has gone in. And it is a third ton topping checkout in this match for Adam Smith Neal. And then we run into a run of German players on 96. that stage tonight. Ricardo Piotresco, Liam Mendel Lawrence, and Gabriel Clements all playing in three of the last four matches. 58. And the crowd can make a difference because they nearly dragged Nico Kurz over the line against Jules in that first match. As the atmosphere gets red hot in here. They 100. Do play their part. Bilecki's still playing his part here. He might have to take out the 106. He hasn't had a three figure finish in the game himself. Roman, you require 106. What a time this would be to get one. Double 18. Game oh, he does. Game on. Smith Neal. Desperate for treble 20s. 100. And he'll take that. There's the nod of appreciation. It gives yourself a chance. And what I would say to Adam, you should have been doing this the past 10 minutes. Benetsky, all he can think of now is six darts. When you need it most, Adam, you where have you gone? Is he going to land another big one? The big dog wants double 18, Game and he shot. does. Well, that is absolutely Adam incredible. Neal. You have to rely on big finishers in the game, but is it four of them, four ton toppers, including one in a deciding leg to get over the line? He would partner Brendan Dolan, knocking Daryl Gurney out of the team. Unless hey, Daryl Gurney was the man he beat in the final. In which case, Josh Rock and Daryl Gurney would pair up, and ever present at the World oh, Cup, Brendan five. Dolan would be knocked out of the two-man team. Double 16 for a 108 to start. 92. Not quite Didn't Adam Smith Neal like in the finishing. Yes, that was incredible for Slevin. Just the one treble, treble 19. Treble 19 it is. Good and what a start. We are being Didn't spoiled slip. tonight for 100 plus finishes. He brings a little bit of shoulder and that with it as well, but he's keeping his body still. That's important. Won't take the 118. But he will set it up very nicely. And Daryl Gurney, who threatened the 164 in the last leg may need the 167, it's not going to happen. And Dylan Slevin is doing pretty well at just keeping Daryl Gurney at arm's reach. Because Gurney was heavily outscoring him. Slevin has improved over the last couple of legs. But he's starting to miss doubles for the first time in the game. He just my pet hit of clapping to the board. 50 left, just looks calm and assured. Determined, yeah. focused, and absolutely yeah. clinical. So one, two, one to level the match. Does he go for it? I think he does. Oh, maybe not. No, he did. Thought he changed his mind there for a moment, Dylan, but he did go for it. I think you're absolutely correct. I think he changed his mind as he walked to the hockey there. It's 
It's a strange thing when someone oh, says, no, why did you do that? Yeah. Probably had every intention, yeah. just a layup. But two down to double eight. This is the four for big moments in this match. Nine. That's the difference the with the wire, because the way Daryl Gurney's playing, look at the way he's loosening his arms. Meat and drink. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Daryl Gurney. Super, super impressive. Now, just wonder if he would go for this. The stats say he shouldn't. But will he? Well, well, well. There's all sorts of discussion points about going for the ball and not in this game, isn't there? The respect he has for his opponent. Also, when you win on a big finish like that, for me, it was the right thing to do. Daryl Gurney has been super All impressive. Hot. And this is for 25. the match. Double eight. Double four. Game shot. No need for the old 2020 hindsight there. Daryl Gurney takes out the 25 and takes out Dylan Slevin. But if you're looking for him reaching the final session, the quarterfinals or beyond, you've got to go back to 2019 in Copenhagen, which is quite a long while to go back for somebody who is, as we said, a Premier League player, a reigning major champion, won the Masters this year, Chris Dobie. And look, he's had other runs in big TV tournaments. But, you know, he's done better in some of the big oh, TV lovely. events than he has on the Euro on Tour seven. over the last few years. Significantly yeah. better. That's why it feels odd, isn't it? Because you're used to seeing him in the latter stages, so you mm. have to sort of double take. 57. Graham, Graham Hall here. That has an opportunity to break straight back. And that's the way to go about it. Okay, that's fine. Leaves double ten. Game. Why not? Double twenty, double top, oh. double ten. That'll do. An opportunity, a small one. And it's disappeared already, but he may have further opportunities in this leg. Because Dobie's highest finish so far Nine, is 62. Yeah, and that was the only finish in which he only needed one dart to hit the double. He's only getting one dart, of course, at the end of this combo, but at least he's got that. 76. Graham requires 76. Shanghai on the 19. Divides opinion, that shot. But there is thought behind it. As Hall wants another 16 to leave tops. 32. Cannot get it. Chris require 38. Blitz or hits. Chooses a split, but I'm not sure that was yeah, what he was going for. Or maybe it was. He's had that much trouble on double 16 in this game. But then to the same destination, but on a different flight, and we ended up meeting at both airports in the end, that's how much he didn't want to do oh, that. Understandable. Yeah. And that is the sort of preparation that makes major champions. Well, if he had, he might have played well, might he, Dan? <laughs> well, this is good, though, isn't it? 81 left after nine. Yeah, and we oh, know that he can just put his foot down. 81. Maybe he's now just warmed up. Maybe the first eight legs have effectively been his practice darts for this event. 49. Interesting because preparation doesn't always just start the day of the match. Yeah, and he will have had to sort hotels and flights and all sorts, oh, granted. But yeah. on game Should day, 32. you would think Chris Dobie would be able to come here and perform a little better than what we've seen so far. But it's this double 16 again. Oh, and it's got <laughs> tricky again. Yeah, the first one was the worst start he's thrown at it, but that was out of the way. It's the second one that's caused the problem. No score. Double 16 Rainy is ball, absolutely murdering Chris Doby tonight. But he could have more problems in a moment. Hall's already taken out 120, the highest check out of the match. If he can go one better, he would have been a leg ahead. Right, Chris Doby, oh, if I were you. 32. Big four. Ah, there yeah, we go, order there. restored. Christo. To put him away. We'll go the 12 route. For one of the ball. 56. Graham require 150. That start missed. And unless Graham Hall is feeling particularly frisky, he won't be going for three balls. 
Well, he won't be going for a double at all at the end of this, is he? And he might be sent back in in round one, which would be a new experience oh. for him because he did win his opening game in his Euro Tour debut in the Netherlands. But Chris Doby is looking to end it for him here in Sindelfingen. On double eight, and he's made it hard again. Nice. You know, I was just looking at him thinking, is he thinking about a different route here for 25 as he sort of approached Ray Yonke? 50. Who knows what went through his mind, whether it even crossed his mind, but he went the conventional way, his usual MO. But it's cost him. He's missed three for the match, one at the ball, two at that double eight target. <laughs> this is, they're both doing it every single time. Well, this is astonishing. Can Chris Doby get over the line in a match where double eight and double sixteen have looked a micron wide to him? He's done it again every time. There it is. Chris Doby was battling Graham Hall throughout that, but it is nothing compared to the battle he had with his favourite doubles on the board. Great adjustment where many players would have switched there. Steve Beaton just likes to try and use the weight to adjust and find the treble. Did that, it well on that occasion. That 180 by Steve Beaton. Chris was his 100th of 2023. Another milestone for the man. 123. Steve, you require 107. Now looking for a 100 plus finish. Game shot the fifth. gets play. one. Steve Eaton. Just what the doctor orders as well, because Petrescu was Sinclair, waiting there. Let me tell you, Chris, it's so much easier in that stage. I've said to many people that I'm not really missing darts. But when you're coming here this close, you see this wonderful crowd. You see him plays totally in the zone. I've loved absolutely every second so far. Bring it on. 60. Back to a breeze for Beaton here. Great stuff. Again, Game made that adjustment, low play. dart. Steve just adjusted Beaton. the weight because he's done it all Seven his life. And he might be making a move here. 136. Ricardo, you require just another game of twists and turns, the ups and the downs. We're, we're beginning to make Ricardo the favourite, and all of a sudden, Steve Beaton to treble visit. Needed two trebles, having hit one with the first start there. So Steve will get a go. Massive moments coming up. Ricardo's on a single dart double. Stevie B is going to get one dart to double. That dart is tops. Game what an absolute corker of a finish that is. So impressive. Speaking of impressive, a two dart finish of both players. Yeah, 177 followed by 140 when Pietresco was it was waltzing to this leg. Now he's under pressure. And this is to stay in it. So the 16 segment. And now the smallest segment on the board. 56. Got close, but not close enough. Is that as close as he gets? Senior require 87. It's been a cracking contest. Steve Beaton is going to get a dart at the ball. 62. It's just the outer ring this time. Ricardo, you require 25. Both Four. players on 25, Chris. The finish that dark players practice the most, but it's doing it up there when it counts. Well, interesting route, 13. The double six, but I like it. They like it. Not going to get that. He needs really... A treble, 94. he gets a treble. See, you require 130. Well, I can't pick. Beaton, can he pick off the finish? He won't. All he had to do was stay straight for a dart of the ball. And now Petresco gets his opportunity. It's second Ricardo best for Beaton, who leaves a one dart double. Ricardo Petresco, who will have practiced 116 a thousand times. But under these circumstances, with the crowd involvement, this is where you find out what metal you're made of and that. Yeah, I think he just looks over to his family. That's just pressure. Yeah, the crowd were in a bit of a frenzy and he just broke down. 
But just look at Stevie B not getting involved. Easy. Stevie requires Just going 38. through his process. Will he go direct? He sets it up. Game and that shot. was a classic and match play game. Silence is the crowd. Magnanimous in defeat is Ricardo Petrescu, who did himself so many favours there. Oh, yes. This is a real contest. There's Barney's smile to his. Is he enjoying it? I think he might be. He's in danger of doing so. You have to stop that, Ray. You've got a reputation. <laughs> this is really good from Barney. We're expecting the arms to flail all over. But he's keeping cool. I think he feels he's the better player. It's just when is Liam going to stop playing so well? He's not the better player so far in this game. 81. Leaves himself a two-darter, Mandel Lawrence. So softly spoken. Loves the game, the passion he has for the game. It's endearing. He's living the dream. 65. Well, Barney leaves his signature 156 checkout, but Mendel Lawrence to hold throw with an 11 darter potentially. First time. First time he looks over, smiles to his two data tops. Pats himself on the thigh. Double ten, he says to himself. Game shot on the floor. And the obligatory fist pump. In a guy dressed as Russian dolls as well, he was full of himself. Oh, Stop. there we go. Oh, Stop. Steady Stop. on. Steady on. Stop, I know. I'm beginning to enjoy myself. 97. Are we seeing the turning of the tide in I this game? So. Very interesting. Just quietly but effectively doing a job. I haven't taken my eyes off Barney. I'm waiting for the more. I'm waiting for the, the arms to go. It isn't. He's staying solid. He's staying focused. Despite the barrage that Liam Mendel Lawrence has thrown at him so far. Well, I've said before on a number of occasions this year, I've been impressed by a lot of things from Roman van Barneveld this year. The standard of the darts has been good, but it's the attitude that has impressed me most. As he looks at double top. Game for a level game at three all, and it's Raymond another 15 dart leg. I mean, he makes Andrew Gilding look like Katrina Johnson Thompson. I mean, we are looking at 25 to 30 seconds there. But, like I said, it's just a different challenge. He's not breaching any rules, not breaking any rules. Yeah, he's playing this game for himself. He's not playing this game for anybody else, and he needs to do what he needs to do to get the best out of himself. And there are times in this game, mainly the first four legs, where he was sensational. And he had a five-time world champion on the ropes. But Barney has come out swinging... And Liam just hasn't quite been able to maintain that ridiculous standard. He's still in this game. This would be a sucker punch. Just the one treble needed on 130. It's not going to happen. Barney's already eyeing this 100 90. finish. Lots of thoughts going through your mind at this point. 100. Number one, though, treble 20. Options now. Two tops. There's Two one of them. Game and there's the other, other. Raymond Van Barneveld. Classy stuff from a legend of the game. They're enjoying the darts too. I think they'll be a little bit more rowdy in the final game. I think they'll get right behind Gabriel. But they've been really fair to Steve Beaton and really fair to Raymond Van Barneveld. Yeah, they have been very good. Oh, Max Hopp, the only German player to have won PDC ranking titles so far. Barney sets it up. And this has been a very, very impressive display. All right, it's not, you're not going to put it in your top ten performances from Raymond van Barneveld over the years, but it has, in its own way, been very impressive. Totally agree, Dan. It's a different challenge, like I said. This guy ain't changing for anybody, but he's just done the right thing. And for me, Dan, the word patience still remains as the number one word. That's what's got through him this game. He didn't panic, he didn't start throwing a wobbler. 
And I tell you, I think Barney has put a 60. very, very professional job. required 24. Well, to complete a professional job. Double 12 for Raymond van Barneveld. And the five-time world champion sees off the teenager. It was in serious doubt when he was 3-1 down. And Liam Mendel Lawrence was playing like a five-time world champion himself. Now, that's a real one. Don't worry about that. Come on. Don't be harsh. That's our Dutch camera crew. Well, Payne here looking to go three up in no time at all against his travel buddy. Although he's misdirected that dart and that one. 35. Simon so Uruguay, 81. Nine off. Could go double double. There's one. 45. Oh, wow. Genuinely thought he'd found Touching it for a moment. 100. Well, now he's hoping that Payne doesn't pin. And he might, because he's got two darts at double top. Yeah, Simon Whitlock's in trouble here. Josh Payne, Josh Payne three Simon to the good Simon against the World King. Cup winner. Suddenly something seems to have clicked. 140. 50. So we're 124. Yeah, and the opposite may have happened to Josh Payne. Good. That will do nicely. Simon Whitlock taking out 124 the tricky way. an interesting decision because it always looked difficult to get to the ball right? yeah, although the dart was actually laying down much more than usual but he could have actually ended up knocking it out just a little shake of the head it started so well so promising for pain here but now it's becoming a battle for him Double 16 for 3-3. Three, three. There's the wizard. 19. And he can't Josh quite Uruguay make that three-leg deficit completely disappear just yet. And Payne gets a, a reprieve. Doesn't find the one segment this time. And he finds double five. Yeah. He can, and that is a big Josh moment Payne. in this game, because Josh Payne... And he's left for one three. Now, I mean, that is a situation where you've got to think about what you go for. Whitlock hasn't got the treble he needed, 53. but... Josh Rudigua, 139. Payne's on an awfully tricky finish. He was in an incredible position in this leg. It's all broken down. 62 left. Whitlock took out 72 in the previous leg, 74 83. earlier in the match. Simon now he wants 73. the number exactly in between to stay in the match. It's one dart that tops. Fifty Fails three. to find it. Payne then at match point. His seventh visit of the leg. Joshua require 56. He has stumbled to this position. But he has match darts for his first win on the Euro Tour for four years. And There's Josh Payne has got it. It's been a long Payne. time coming. But he is a winner on the European Tour once again. And a former European champion is beaten. Well, the German crowd have got a special interest in this because if Clemens does win it, they are guaranteed a player in the final day because the winner plays Martin Schindler. Oh, wow. What a mouth-watering opportunity. 70. What a mouth-watering match that would be. This Everyone place will lift the roof 16. off. Doing a good job right now. 138. I mean, it's steady. That's all he's doing. But the times he's played really well and lost. That's the way he'll be looking at it right now. These two dark finishes, especially when your opponent does that to you. But very simple. Don't think of that tops first. Stay straight. Job done. Do you need to move? No. Perfect mark. Surely. 
That is an absolute cracker of a dart. Yeah, the audiences were massive. The you know, rumours were coming out of the size of the audience that hadn't been seen in German darts. Yeah, viewing figures, incredible interest, incredible column inches, everything that went with it. And let's give German darts fans their due. They deserve it because they turned up to these arenas week after week, year after year, without having that player to cheer for. Plenty to cheer for in this performance. Just a little bit rushed for the first time there. 140. Second dart there was a... Like watching Ricky Evans up there. Maybe not Lee Evans. But everything is going. 44. Clemens as well. Evans just cannot get a break in this match. They can't get a hold either if we're going to be literal about it. Might get some help here. No. What obstacle, no problem. Lee Evans strength looking back. 47%, one of the highest. Out the Pro Tour players at the Euro Tours this year. Oh, Is he getting over the fact that he went north from 20? Just beginning to get back in the match. He's silenced this crowd. He's well ahead in this leg. Well, he's he's in the match, isn't he? And he wasn't oh, in the match. 96. Lee Reguine, 93. And Clemens, I mean, he's got to be panicking, hasn't he? Yes. And the best players don't at this point. It's double 18. So looking so good right now. Wow. Even if he loses this leg, he will have the darts in the decider. Just have the feeling, Chris, he doesn't want to go to five each. I know that's a silly statement, but when your opponent's on the, with the ascendancy, with the momentum, even when you've got the dart in the last leg, he wants to get this done now. He's in control of this leg. He's the favourite for this leg. He's hit the treble. What a way to win it this would be. Would have been a real roof raiser. But what it does do is ask the question of Evans. Right, you put your doubling right a little. Can you stay in it with a blockbuster of your own? Surely not. What a moment that was. Gabriel, you require 46. Well, what a chance. Clemens have already missed match starts. He's getting a couple more. And finally, finally, he puts it to bed. A thrilling end to today's action. Gabriel Clements.